the scale and seeing a company scale was a really new experience as a program manager. So how big were they when you came in versus, I mean, I think so, they were like at 2,000 at the... Yeah, time. at the end yeah. it was like about 2,000 people. I think I was employee like 300, something like that. Oh, cool. <clears throat> yeah, so it was it was a huge That's growth. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, uh, you know, one of the things as I kind of went through my career, you know, I started when I went to grad school, well, my military projects were very, very big, but like subcontractors, right? So I had five different subcontractors, each with their own team of like 70, 50 people, right? But I had no direct supervision or, or, or right? Like I was, I was kind of there to make sure the budget was going and all that. Um, so then I get to grad school and the lab starts off with seven people. And by the time the end of the DRC, we were about 20 people. Then I go to Carnegie Robotics, and the team's about 12 people. <clears throat> like, the whole team for the whole project. Um, and then I get to Argo. This is on the Nilfus project. Yeah, the Nilfus project. Yeah. And then I get to Argo, and now, whoa, 300 people, like 150 engineers, right? That's got to be some insanity just to try to adapt to that scale. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's, it's something... Um, my, my, my buddy Joe from Virginia Tech, actually, his master's thesis was on this, where the, the requirements of information transfer as you scale a system require more and more resources, right? And if you undervalue maintaining that oversight and information transfer, your project fails, Right, you get too much stove piping, or people don't know what they're doing, or chaos erupts, and there's a tendency. You realize something's wrong, and eventually you try to kind of like buy your way out of it. Oh, I'll, I'll hire my way out of it, and it's too late. You've crossed that uh. mythical man month, right? And <laughs> nine women can't make a baby in a month. Yeah, right. So, sense. so, um, so seeing, seeing, you know, I, I had known. Joe's thesis, and it was a really fascinating, you know, I'd never thought about things that way, and uh, so going to Argo, it was one of the things that I wanted to try to make sure we avoided, and make sure that, like, good information flow, good understanding of what we were doing, and not being overbearing 